Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to those that have been here before. I'm in Wales. I'm going up. Trip on. I think I'm going to give the North Face a go. See what it's like. I don't know it's I mean, it looks like the. It's definitely the biggest scramble I'm going to do because I've not done a real big scramble like this one before. I've done a few scrambles but I think this is grade one or two or something I think I don't know I might be wrong and it is down here it's probably going to be worse up there but down here it's quite even though it's a gorgeous day it is literally a stunning day um, and it's warm until you come round to the Ogwen Reservoir or lake whatever you call it it's very windy it's very windy I tried making a sandwich at my car before Everything was blowing everywhere. I've done it. I've got my sandwich. I've got my coffee. I've got water. I've got a pork pie. I'm going to head up here. And it might be too windy to get the drone up. I'm gutted if it is because I want to get a drone while I'm at the top. Or while I'm scrambling or something. We'll see what happens. But it's going to be a good one. But this is going to be a proper scramble for me anyway. A lot of people probably watching this that have done this already thinking it's nothing done worse than that this is the most i've done up to now not this bit of course but if i'm getting up there and going across that then yeah that is the most i've done all right i could tell by the look of it um i've got my uh, new selfie stick now so there'll be no rattling and apparently it's going to be absolutely gorgeous from here on for the next week or two apparently i'm hoping this is the right way because it seems like i'm going out i think i've come the wrong way here we have oh damn it this is the way back down so this will be the way down i'd rather come down an easier way than going up an easy way better head back down here anyway now Find out where this path is. Well, there's no real path. Just got to scramble across somewhere to get to the north face. Right, I'll catch you in a minute. Well, I'm at this point, which you see a lot of on Instagram pictures, with this, with these uh, steps going over the wall. What a great view it is from here as well. Uh, the scramble enough just coming up here. <laughs> Literally, there's no path. Just got to climb over rocks to get to this point no clear path I couldn't see one anyway unless there's I guess a lot of people just take this route down the side go down the bottom and then down the it looks like there might be a little path over there but yeah I just come across all this why not we'll be doing that anyway so I think we're going up here and then somewhere be able to get up I mean looking from down there before it looks like there's a part that just goes like that I'm hoping this is a way to get up there I'm sure they will, there's got, there's got to be people have done the hike before without all the rock climbing gear or whatever let's go and give it a go anyway there's no point in me doing videos while I'm going up here because I need to use both hands get myself up on some rocks uh, so I'll just keep going back every now and then See a bit. Some of the views up here are absolutely stunning. Tell you what though, when you get in that shade, it's, it's cold. I not brought a jacket ever. I've come in the shorts and a shirt. In the, when you're in the sun, you're all right. But in the shade, it's freezing, man. But what a drop. You literally just got to come scrambling up here. I'd not like to go back down that way, so I'm hoping I can definitely carry on doing this and it don't come to a point where I can't climb something like this I hope not because I don't want to go back down that I hate going down steep stuff like that going up it I'm fine going down gradually happy days keep getting uh, planes going past I got a quick shot on my phone plane it's lower than me it's just going straight across between the valley over the lake and then round that way again 
But yeah, this is a great walk, this. I am enjoying this. I'm just hoping I can definitely get up there somewhere. I'm sure I can. A lot of people have done it. Definitely got to be a way. Staying in the sun for a bit, it's warm. Warmer, warmer. Still a bit windy. It's just all rocks. <laughs> so we can get, when we get round and up a little bit, we'll get cracking views then from both sides. I'm hoping so. I can't remember which one's he gone. That's what I did last time I went come back around did the circular walk it was spectacular that day it was a similar day to this to be honest it's that one there that's slightly hidden behind these rocks so you just go up you go up the side of it you can see what the path well I can anyway I don't know if you can you scramble up there you just walk around the side around the ridge kind of thing all the way to the top and then you come back down the way back down is even better views because you're coming down to the uh, the little lake in the middle. Right, I'm gonna crack on. See if we can get a better view for you. So walking out, this is. So I literally give up on the trail that all trails were giving me, and um, it got to a rock, and it was like this, and it was probably a little bit of space to probably climb up. But well, if I would have got up there and there was no other way, getting down would have been a pain in the ass. I come round a little bit further around and it's still scrambling up anyway, so at the end of the day, as long as I'm going, it's going to get back on the trail after a little bit. But it's just coming up an easier way. It's still not easy, but it's an easier way. Um, you've got spectacular views up here as well. The wind's dying down. It's sunny as is sunny as hell. Like it's literally glorious today. There's no clouds around here. Clouds are right in the distance over there. We've got a little sheep here, just tucked away. <laughs> See him? This one here, just tucked away right up here. Oh no, there's another there. Christ, I'm blind. Yeah, they're both eating the way. It's literally all they do all day is eat. Oh, I'll get so far up, and then. Get a drink, I've not had a drink yet, there's no point. I'll get get further up first. Boy, it's gonna be amazing views up there. It's already amazing views from down here. I didn't even see this side last time because obviously Triffon was in the way from when I did a gun. You can only see the top of Triffon. You could see some of this, but you could see that one there. That one's spectacular, that one. I'm so close to the top now, it's just there, literally. Uh, I know sunglasses probably ruining your eyes right now, but that's it. It's, I've joined a couple of guys. They were doing the walk. Uh, I caught up with them, and I've just been walking with them and chatting with them for a bit. It's quite nice to actually have someone to do the walk with. I'll probably meet them again in a minute, but I'm just doing a quick video because what a view! What a view! And this is a well good walk. I really like this. This is. Ben Nevis is the highest, but it's one of the easiest of the highest peaks I've done. This kind of walk is tougher, it's more fun. You're scrambling up rocks, you're finding areas because there's no direct path or anything. All you're looking for is, you know, parts of the floor where people have walked or whatever, working out if that's the best route to take. Um, they got me a good picture on the uh, the cannon as well, which was really good. I took some of them. And that is just absolutely stunning. I'll show you that way, but still stunning, but just hills and mountains and stuff. But this has got the mountains and the lakes, or oh, whatever they call them in Wales. Scotland has got locks, England has got lakes. I mean, they, they, I still call them lakes. I don't know. I have no idea, but yeah, them, them two guys, literally, um, they've just done what I did uh, a while ago, so they've done up Devil's 
kitchen is it they've gone up devil's kitchen and up to Egan and back down that way where I did it the other way but they've done that this morning and then come over here and now doing this I'm like wow I probably could do that now because I'm a lot fitter now than I used to be but yeah these guys have done done that today they've just come out for the day they're not even camping anywhere uh, top guys and all uh, so I'm going to catch them up get to the top of this and hopefully get the drone out because it's not that windy so fingers crossed I'll get some good shots <laughs> oh, it's getting a great view over this side now now you're coming through so get through it <sighs> yeah here we go great view so yeah I'm just going to scramble up this You can be the best, you can be the King Kong banging on your chest You can beat the world, you can beat the war You can talk the guy, go banging on his door You can throw your hands up, you can beat the clock You can move a mountain, you can break rocks You can be a master, don't wait for luck Dedicate yourself and you go by yourself Standing in the Hall of Fame yeah. And the world's gonna know your name You can run the mile You can walk straight through hell with a smile You could be the hero You could get the gold Breaking all the records They thought never could be broke Yeah, do it for your people Do it for your pride You ain't never gonna know If you never even try Do it for your country Do it for your name Cause there gonna be a day When you're standing in the hall of fame yeah. And the world's gonna know your name My days. Check out the drop. Holy crap. This is the top of Trifan. Oh, we did it. Aren't you? Cracking views from the top and back. Again, over in the back. Not sure about the rest because that's the only one I've done around it. And now Trifan. Happy days. It's definitely a good walk up here. Uh, you're scrambling up all across the sides, all up here. And uh, yeah, you've got spectacular views of the, the lakes and stuff down there. But yeah, it's uh, really nice being up here. Try and get over the edge, get this view over here. There we go. Lakes. And just quality looking mountains around here. Really nice. Great landscape. That one looks really good to do as well. Doesn't feel that high up to be honest. I know we are at 900 and... What is it? 900 and something. Egan's definitely higher. But I can't remember how high. I'm sure it's not far off similar to Snowden but I might be wrong there's only one thing for it get the drone up get some views and let you guys see what it looks like what a day for it in a bit
just come down in between the two mountains. Not sure what that one is. Again, not looked it up. There's Trifan up there. Top of that. And obviously if you come from the other side, the north face. Um, I think I've done the north face. I didn't follow the map exactly. I went around a little bit because I just couldn't go up where, I, where it was leading me to. Still a good scramble up. And I'm coming down the south face. South side now. Well, I've come down the south side. I'm just coming down this. In between the two mountains, you've got a stream coming down. And you've got a great, fantastically paved uh, path, footpath. It's just steps. For a bit, it's just rocks and loose rocks. You've got to watch it up there. It's just they're, they're the worst parts, I think. If I'm going to injure myself, they're the worst parts, the loose rocks. Just ankle twists and everything. But yeah, when you get to a certain point, it just turns into this kind of rocky path, which they're all quite, you get quite a few, you get quite a few of them that are quite flat. Uh, so it's comfortable to walk. It's really nice. I know it's going to change now, actually. You'll put over this rocky bit and it's going back to the loose little rocks again. That's fine. I'm going to get a walk past the lovely lake and past the other one, I think, and then back to the car. Um, I'm getting a step in because I didn't realise the time. I, I did get up late, to be honest. There's, again, doing the editing. I've got to stop doing it. I don't stop editing. I want to still do the videos, but I've got to stop doing it every night. That's what, it's, that's what I'm doing lately. Every night I'm doing a bit of editing, or then I'm having to sort the SD cards out for the drone and the GoPro. Just get everything off the off the SD cards onto the laptop, and then then put them onto OneDrive because. Again, all the stuff's taking up my memory on my laptop. I think what I need to do is once I've uploaded it to YouTube, just delete them videos then. I think it's the only way I could think of trying to save space on my laptop or on my OneDrive um, storage. Again, if you do the editing and you do any videos, what do you do? Is that the best way of doing it? Like I'm already doing it? I think tomorrow I'm going to get the kayak out and go for a kayak somewhere. Uh, just need to get in the water and enjoy. Oh, I love it. I just love getting out. It's, I know it's only an inflatable kayak. Seriously, they are so much fun. And if, you, if you've not got the space for a proper kayak, or like for my reason at the time when I got it, they're too expensive. Proper kayaks are too expensive, out of my price range. Um, an inflatable kayak, a really good one, 150 quid, something like that. You can even get them in like in shops. The I got them on, I got it on Amazon, but you can get them in shops now, like Decathlon, and go outdoors. And that one in Decathlon looks really good, to be honest. The one they've got there, the two-seater one. You can get single, but it's not point. You might as well get two just in case someone to join you or your kids or whatever. Oh my, it's quite a bit of way to go yet. I was trying to hurry up because I want to get back and get to this campsite which was able to book and cook my food. So I can just chill out tonight or sit in the sun for a bit. Anyway, this video has gone on way too long. So I'm going to carry on and I'll probably see you back at campsite. But I won't ramble on too much. See you then. All right, I'm on the campsite. Um, I bought this one for two nights, uh, but obviously I have to pack away to go out. That's the only problem with having a roof tent. You have to pack everything up to drive to your next destination. But here's what it is. I'm used to it now. But this campsite's really nice. Fifteen pounds a night for an electric hookup tent pitch. I'm all hooked up. Got it all hooked up into the car, charging all the batteries. I'm going to use my laptop in a bit. Might watch a film or something. Chill out. But there's no one on it. Oh no, sorry, you've got a couple of tents. Right, like two man tent things down there. And that is about it. This is the electric tent pitch. So you've got your electric box there, an electric box there, with so many sockets coming out of it. Um, this field is 
bring you on it. So I'll show you the mountain range in the back if you can see it. I don't know. It's probably a bit far out, but this is your regular uh, tent pitch, no electric. You've got another field down there for tents, no electric. That field behind the back of mine is for camper vans with obviously electric and water. Um, it's decent, it's actually, that was like what, 15 minute drive from Trifan that I did before. 15 minutes, I'm not bothered about that. 15 minutes to save me spending. Everywhere else we're asking for like 30 pounds electric hookup. Some were asking 40 for one night. It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. They need to sort your prices out. Whoever charging that, no site's good enough for 40 pounds a night. Just a campsite, sort it out. So you've got Trifan over there. You've got all the other mountain ranges, your garden's next to it. Snowdon's there somewhere. Oh yeah, Snowdon's at the back. So I can see it all from here. It's close. It's only 15 minute drive. I'm fine with that. Seaside's on that side, I think. Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah, so mountain range there, seaside's over there. Maybe that's why it's quiet here. I don't know, because it's a bit out of the way. I'm really no idea. Or maybe it's just because it's a Thursday night. Um, I'm just here with my beer and just me, chilling out. <laughs> love this, absolutely love it. And there's another mountain up there. Uh, I know it's not a very big, it's not a big one, it's only like 300 meters maybe. Um, but it's got a trig on top, so you could stop here, go for a little wander up there, have a little walk, scope the area out and come back, chill out in the campsite for 15 quid. I mean, it'd be less than that. It's probably about a tenner then for um, just camping with no electric. I've got half a moon, not even half, it's just a little, it's a quarter of a moon. And that is a, and I said epic then. It is epic. That is epic in the background. Sunset over there. I watched it before, it was gorgeous. I probably should have recorded that for you guys, but yeah, it was stunning watching the sunset over in that area. And you can see all the mountains just all lighting up kind of thing. Well, they're not lighting up, but the light behind it's all shining and it just makes them come out even more. Well, it's nice around here. I've got 4G signal, full bar. I'm on EE, by the way. Might be a bit different for everyone else, but yeah, full bar signal. And just hills and mountains all around me. I love it. Absolutely love it. So you've got a pub, you've got a boozer on your site, and it looks decent in there. It's got a pool table, um, darts, I think. I've not even had my tea yet. I'm not hungry. I had my lunch. Booked Trifan about, what What was it? 4 p.m. It's basically my tea, isn't it? So, but I'll have a little pot noodle. I'm just going to have a pot noodle. Happy days. Me set up. I put the insulation in as well. I, I didn't at first. I thought, you know what? It's supposed to be nice tonight. It's supposed to be, it is calm, um, but the temperature's dropping. I didn't think it was going to get that cold, but no, the temperature's dropped. So I threw it in. It takes two minutes, so threw it in. I'm going to keep warm tonight. I'll have a great sleep. I've had a quality shower. Showers there are unbelievable, brilliant. For a cheap sight, I weren't expecting this to be, I've been to some cheap sites before and they just have crappy basic toilets, toilet blocks and that's it, or toilet um, cubicles. But this one, yeah, it's got really good. You can see them over there shining away. Nice little huts. We've got really good showers in there, washing facilities. Trifan was quality. If you've not done Trifan, already definitely go and do it if you've done it before go and do it again <laughs> it's brilliant isn't it it's just absolutely fantastic up there but again the usual if you've liked this episode and you want to see more make sure you like and subscribe if you've not already subscribed and share it to other people that you think might like this as well and Wherever I'm going to go tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I think I'm going to go for a kayak session. Just chill out. 
but then I still want to do some hiking. I want to do some more hiking. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. I'll think about it. So, all I can say on that note, I'll see you on the next one. See you later.